so you look for passion what do you love doing so when i discovered my passion was traveling actually so what was i doing i was finding careers around my passion of traveling that i could go places and meet people that was always my uh, you know desire to meet as many different types of people so you know how this whole perspective because see when when you apply to yourself is the best way that you can also explain it because if you haven't understood it you won't be able to explain it. and not just understanding understanding is the suggestibility because how you are interpreting the information and you are processing it but then how do you actually implement it from that understanding to application because application is the step two so i was looking for a career my first ever career that i started uh, was in an event management uh, institute so i was a management faculty for one of the biggest management schools uh, kelkar vaze college so kelkar institute of management xavier's institute of communication and there were two more uh, colleges one was in mulund the other one was in cst the vel institute of communication is one of the biggest so i used to train people uh, in uh, journalism first to teach event management because i also was simultaneously into event management because event management gave me uh, different uh, opportunities to travel so i used to do launch parties i would do you know bollywood work and since i was already into a little bit of it simultaneously because the boss that i started working for was the person who had an it company and who also had uh, one of the online uh, things that dealt into hollywood uh, bollywood stay and travel i still remember that website that he was making was uh, cinemantra dot so i would meet taran order i would meet anil kumble i would meet uh, dharmendra i would meet ravinath and you know these kind of things and i i would love to travel because my boss would send me to these places so travel in fact even step 1 when i was in school vacations hote the i used to do vacation jobs so there was one of the jobs that i joined a travel agency where they uh, needed tour managers so i would get paid 500 a day and i get to travel all different parts of the uh, you know different parts of india and i get paid and i get to travel as my vacation holiday job so i'm traveling and i'm earning as a tour manager assistant tour manager and then became eventually tour manager so all my vacations 10 years i did some awesome travel to different parts of india in my education i took biotechnology and as a part of it there was wildlife management so there was an entire wildlife sanctuaries and you know wildlife parks and all of that so i used to love uh, wildlife photography so that i ventured into like this february i'm going to spiti valley for uh, photographing uh, snow leopards which is in minus 15 degrees we are going to be sitting up in 4000 meter height and uh, like a bunch of eight photographers i'm connecting after 20 years so that's something which i've committed myself to and when i when i started seeing so event management became my travel plan or training through all these so then i came into from corporate to corporate training and that started giving me a boost saying wow what are the different places i get to travel so in a month i would travel for 25 days only 5 days i'm coming back to wash my clothes change my luggage there have been times when i've come from one city where i've changed a bag within 2 hours and i've flight i've flown so my wife any which was was little fed up saying you know you're only really coming like a dharamshala at home and she being an emo she would see it as you know this high physical guy with so much of energy and who's this you know crazy guy with so much of uh, thought and agendas so when i started doing this slowly gradually my travel passion because my father was so happy in a year i would have done some 250 flights that crazy 250 flights i must have in my life of course when when i did not travel international i must have done some 600 uh, flights until a certain period in time i used to have like a bunch of boarding passes which i used to keep it and collecting it seeing you know a collection 
then i said okay thank you so much universe i don't want to keep a track i just want to live then you know my international travel started i started going to kenya so i stayed there for 3 months i stayed in malaysia for almost 6 months then i opened up right now i went to us and uh, now the middle east it started changing the whole track from covid and in these 3 uh, years i think i unlock so many things so when you go crazy in passion not your purpose so passion when you understand it within you that what do you love doing and how much you can do it endlessly is the zone of abundance that you started operating out of where you don't think money first the moment you think money first there is a void you see passion how much can i give from the zone of abundance so when i started doing that 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 passion will become your path as you start walking in that path how much of what you are doing you can do it endlessly without thinking about money unlock your zone of abundance what you call ikigai japanese people read this book called ikigai it's a beautiful book in order to understand what it tells you that is where that path will become your profession and because see there is a difference between profession and occupation have you ever identified these two words as different prachi has a question mark prachi have you ever noticed it what is occupation sir in my mind the same as profession occupation is what is occupying you simple word so occupation can be student you are not earning what is your occupation i am a student so what is occupying me right now is my studies what is it in occupation that you write i am a housewife what is occupying me my responsibility is at home and i am a homemaker see that is why in the form whenever you fill this we never paid attention to this that we need to understand what is the difference between words see i go into the genesis of every word hence when you discover that meaning no your neuro linguistic will start changing something so even in your profession when you go down to again three aspects you write service or job or employee that no matter what you do there will be a ceiling you will not be able to grow beyond a ceiling even if you become a ceo yes or no because how much can a boss pay you for the services you get it so that's one aspect of understanding where this is coming from so now you are in the same job anji beta sometimes ceos also get shares of the company so they will grow as the company grows i'm coming stock options stock options they they are called stock options now from service you come to self employed you are employed but by self so there is a a little freedom that you get it because when you are in a job when you are accountable what is required here as a resource is the first thing discipline commitment accountability to justify the payment that your company is giving as an energy exchange for the time expertise skill what you giving it the moment you become self employed you get the freedom because a lot of people feel trapped in a job situation and then they seek freedom 
this freedom is the freedom of what? The freedom to choose your goals. Often people misunderstand this freedom to be the freedom that they take it for granted. And they take this freedom to waste time. They'll get up at the time that they want. As a freelancer, they'll sit, operate from home, wake up anytime and sit and do whatever. They'll do as many clients as you want. Now, this also, if you go into this take it for granted and wasting time mode, you're again operating out of a void, which is not letting you execute your passion to the fullest. Because you're too fuzzy, the moment you opt to become a self-employed, you have to become your own parent. If you will not become your own parent, somebody else will be an authority who will press exactly that button, which will either be your client or the boss for whom you're working as a freelancer, because there will be someone or the other who's giving you work or your own parents who will be in complete disharmony with you, who will press every aspect of that discipline and taking things for granted. And you still will not get the success. And what do I mean within each one of us, within each one of us, we have three parts. Let's understand from where the passion comes in and how do you unlock the passion? And see, these are the things which you'll never ever get this from any one book. This is the discovery of application of stuff which I've seen it and applied it in every bit of my life. So there is a child personality within us. There is a parent personality within us. And there is an adult within us. Every time when you're making a choice, who's making the choice? The adult is making the choice. Now, let's say you're a job employee and your adult wants to become successful in setting a goal. Now, within this child, the one who feels trapped, there are two parts in becoming a child. And there are two parts when you become a parent. A child operates who seeks freedom from a system. It's called a free child. Or when that freedom goes in a negative swing, that free child will become a rebel. Why? Because parents have pressed their buttons in stage 3, what I call PME. That's the stage exactly where this child decided hell with all the authority in life. So that fragment of a human is stuck into that. Understand this. Okay, this is profound. I'll, I'll take questions. Bama. Just give me two minutes. The moment you go into the passive aggressive mode, you will also sabotage yourself at job. Because the system of coming in on time, going out on time, filing your sales report, making all the reports which are required. Some you must have, you know, some of you must have worked in a corporate setup, so you will know and understand what I mean. Accountability big time. Now, the moment you play this self sabotage, because Sami, this, this is also a model for you, okay? To understand exactly that how, what the first ever dialogue that we had 
understanding that what you were doing and you wanted to make a shift and said rajesh i'm here i want to go to because obviously when you set the goals what are the three basic options that you will ask yourself where am i right now how much am i earning how much savings do i have where do i want to go these two mostly are in our awareness the moment you thinking about goal what i want to become where am i right now where do i want to go finally how will i get there is the key now if that clarity is not there why making a choice when you make a choice as a child who's into this free child or a pab mode the choice will lead to a consequence where there there will be a self sabotage and a and an authority who will badger you and will be on a task and will harass you big time now there is a second kind of a child so there is a free child and a rebel and there is an adaptive child the adaptive child is the key to your success and hence every businessman who wants to do business should master the adaptive side first we make a mistake that we straight want a capital from our parents and we want to become businessman or self employed that will never work why because the adaptable inner child who should become discipline commitment and accountability that they only learn in a job you go into bollywood you go into any industrialist and their children were their salaried employees first they make their children work in different organizations where they take up internships and jobs or when they were in a institute learning mba they were learning it hard way they were commuting by train and travel by bus there are so many such histories and things that you will hear it that old people and old school people always made their children struggle in the beginning and that's what even today the old school people think that struggle is the only way you'll respect resources and facilities that are being given to you the new age generation doesn't understand it because they straight want to go into the free child mode i want everything right now so send me to la la land for education send me to this for but while not being accountable at home to do even basic stuff at at home so discipline commitment accountability if these are the three things that you master in your path along with your passion because that's where exactly even let's say bollywood celebrities shahrukh khan son today is assisting karan johar what need does he have to go and assist karan johar rithik roshan assisted his own father worked as an employee he worked for three more directors at that time Ranveer Singh, who was at the peak of his success, he assisted Yashraj Films. He was a spot boy. Is how he started his journey. You want all the luxuries to come, and then only I will begin. We are putting so many conditions to our parents today. Are we fulfilling even one condition that they have with us? Just check. that is again taken for granted and wasting of time being a pab again and a free child who wants to enjoy convenience and comfort zone that is why a lot of these quotes when they say that success never is achieved from your comfort zone why because exactly the discipline commitment and accountability so on daily basis there has to be at least one act one act that you will do it with discipline for example not taking your breakfast without bath bathing See, old and old people. Why are they keeping these kind of conditions? That जब तक मैं पूजा नहीं करूँगा पानी ग्रहण नहीं करूँगा क्या जरूरत है? भगवान कोई ये नहीं कर रहा है. 
Are you getting this? Bhagwan has not put this condition. It is the condition for your mind to tame one aspect, the discipline. And then how committed you are with that discipline. And when you did not follow it, when something else came your way as a punishment, as a failure, as a drawback or a setback, you will be accountable that it is because of my own. You will not blame it. You will not complain. So the moment you don't complain, because who complains? The child ego state. Are you getting this? Who will blame? The parent ego state. Now the parent also has these two sides. What is the parent side? Number one. Itna bhi nahi aata, ye bhi thik se nahi kiya. Isko wahan pe rakho, ye cheez yaan pe kyun padhi hai? Ye kapde aise kyun pehne hai? Padha ye time pe kyun kar rahe ho? Chalo, das vaj gaya hai, so jao. Are you getting this? A CP program is the judgment that you keep playing in your filter. Because there is no other person who will judge. A child never judges. Please remember this. So what am I saying? What is the biggest hurdle in your growth? Is your own CP program where you start you know, seeing flaw in every person in your environment. And why are you focusing on the flaws of other people? Because you want to feel superior. It's your low self-worth which enjoys a certain thrill when you judge others. And that's the biggest pitfall. So a CP program will never let you perform because it will constantly seek perfection which is the biggest fallacy in life. It will not let you begin in the name of perfection. I will begin only. You are only doing procrastination and nothing else. With a program in the back of your mind, I am not good enough. Because your critical parents have made you feel no matter what you did, you were not good enough. And hence, a lot of people who are in this mode, the child mode, Go for need for approval. Am I good enough? Or emos take it on their ego and control. They go need to prove. Is it making sense? Because this need to prove or need for approval Need to prove is again how righteous I am of this position. I'll show you. Is the parent program which is coming from your parent. And hence we say the career path comes from the father. And need for approval comes from that child who's always felt low and not accepted or approved because the mother kept saying, uh, you know, abandonment, abandonment. Jao tum se baat nahi karungi. Go. Unless you do this, I will not accept you. So that child goes for approval from his wife. Or the wife will go for an approval from her husband. Even for career. And for everything, their self-esteem and self-worth will always revolve around how am I doing? How am I doing? So these people at work become pleasers. And these are high physicals at work who are trapped with emo bosses or emo team which makes them really work very hard. And then that becomes a frustration for a job employee who is a physical to keep taking this rejection. He doesn't perform at work. And now what he keeps doing every time until life is very good, they will work in an organization. The moment life becomes accountable, disciplined and too much of an emo part, they'll jump jobs. They'll quit. They'll move to another. They'll quit, move to another. They'll quit, move to another. That's how they never settle. And then these physicals keep, yeah, 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 Bhavna, one minute I'm in a flow. Otherwise, I'll lose it. If I take the question, 
uh, I'll not flow with what it is. That's why I'm taking two time, two two minutes. That physical then creates so much of struggle at work by being a pleaser, because there is no accountability, there is no discipline, there is no commitment. So what a physical will do? Pleasing, chamcha, chatu karita. You get that. How does that as a defense mechanism come? That, that is reaction formation. And then emo will focus on upgrading the skills. In fact, they plan a lot in terms of studies. They want straight a position. So what do they do? Their strength is their time and loneliness. They transfer it to their goal. First being studious. That's why they're called nerds. Are to bad scholar. Are to yeah. So physical sari unko puri zindagi college time me tana maring. Are isko to pucho hi mati. Are to prepared hi hoga. Ya prepared hi hoga. Now the moment your goals are set based on the path that you're walking. Now why do we say the path will lead to profession is because the path tests you. So that path is the path. Let me take this. Hence, the path is important. Now, this path, hence, has to be always walked as the highest path and no shortcuts. So if from the start to the end, these are your fixed destined milestones, that this is your path. And if this path, you walk as the highest path without taking the shortcuts or detours and go through your lessons. Even if from here where you're sitting in level four, that I will not take a detour no matter what is the time when you will walk this straight path and go through all your prarabdha and the sanche that you've accumulated to become successful in life, I will first go through my discipline, my other areas, and I will keep mastering my path to then work for a certain period as subordinate how much ever potential I may have, but I must crack clarity because that is how you're making a choice when you're coming back to now the parent is first is a critical parent. The second is a nurturing parent. Now this nurturing parent Shows you, let's do it together. I believe in you. We can do it. Let's restart. It's not a failure, it's a feedback. Let's look forward to life. So you do not give up, but you become nurturing towards self. And that's what we call self-love. Because every time when you talk critically, by default, you are unlocking a free child. The moment you talk with compassion and nurturance, every person in your team will naturally become adaptive. And hence, drop all your conditions which are coming from the spot where you feel my destiny Am I making a choice being an adult from the space of equanimity? From the space of neutrality, I am fine with it. I am fine without it. The day you, you stay still on day one, level four, I said from the space of stillness. Where neither the body is at ruffle nor the mind is at disease. The moment you strike that stillness, 
the path of least resistance, hence the path, hence the path, hence the path, will then automatically when you crack it, will become your and then there is no looking back after that. Now let's take questions. Bauna. Sir, can you uh, please put that old slide? Yeah. So uh, you said that uh, the emo will have a need to prove and the physical will have a need for approval. So yes. is it both the, uh, the same? Because even when you have a need to prove, it is to prove in order to get approval either from self or from outside. Yes. Like, but like for example, both, the, both the individuals, Bhavna, need to prove comes from the solar chakra. Need for approval comes from the throat. Self-esteem. How you are approaching the two. When you need to prove, eventually you are seeking approval from the society with your status, with your accolades, with your accomplishments, with your possessions. But when the need for approval doesn't come in, it either hits the heart as rejection or the throat as esteem. Need to prove doesn't have hurt the heart because the emo has shut down heart. They don't understand heart at all. So what hurts them? What do they understand? They understand control. They understand sublimation. They understand aggression. Because aggression, again, is, is the solar. And then no. at one point, they will say, who are you to abandon me? I abandon you. So they are the ones who quit. But they will quit to create. Then they will go into self-employed mode or they will go into industrious mode of becoming an entrepreneur. I hope the spelling is correct. Sorry, yeah. Because I it's one see. spelling for the Lord. Is it correct, Ravna? I didn't see, so I can't see. You are in both the uh, screens. Okay. okay. Yes, tell me. So, sir, uh, what, where does, when you say that the uh, physicals are hit on the throat and the heart, uh, where are the emos hit? Emos are hit at survival. Emos are hit at sacral. Emos are hit at, they are, they are basic. They've shut down their feelings. That's how the emo went through what they went through. A whole lot of trauma makes an emo at 14. Where they've literally desensitized their emotions towards their environment. So their heart is not receiving. So the front heart is blocked. See, you you learn about chakras in level 5. Your, your front heart is not doing good. Your front throat is not doing good. Your front solar is not doing good. That is why they have ailments all from the front funnel of chakras where they are receiving. They have shut down to receiving. They will not like to take help. They will not come and ask you questions unless they really find someone, you know, that they can worship to literally. With the trust that, oh, this is one person who has knowledge, I can go and ask. Their ego will not allow them to take help. So, the emos are wo front blocked. Hote hai. Physicals, they are back blocked. I'm not generalizing, but you have to, again, these are subjective blueprints. Okay? You have to check because when you go in chakras, we will talk about chakras baad mein. Because four days, your four days, Mr. Two days, you will talk about chakras with your Ratsar from you. That's why I'm also laying this uh, as a as a foundation for you to take it forward in level five, where you will understand. It. Because tomorrow there are going to be 30, 40 people who will be in the class of level five. How people are just waiting to do it. Now there are still facets, Bauna. Let's say. In this free child, there are two parts. In adaptive child, there are two parts. In critical parent, there are two parts. 
and a nurturing parent there are two parts the further layers of these personalities so there is a positive free child positively free and there is negatively free a positive free will stay away from home but will do job will sit in the library will study will do positive coping they learn new skills they'll go work in a bank they'll spend time with constructive people to learn again new skills they'll become singers they'll they'll you know go into some sports they'll go into short put wrestling sublimation again positive free will sublimate that path to becoming better a negative free will go into addictions bad company bunking schools and lectures going and doing drug addictions gambling this is a negative free there are shades in both same way if there is a positive adaptive or negative adaptive mama's boys until mama says i'll not move that literal and high physicals who will get into that mode they will i need permission for all so there is chocolate and auntie is offering the chocolate to the child they look up to the mamma mamma will say ha le lo you will observe these beautiful adaptation even in the child as the child is growing up to be 14 that's why we say development of suggestibility has all these factors along the stages of development so when i teach i'm not only teaching you the layer of suggestibility it's not separate than the stages of development it's not separate from the transactional analysis ego states that i'm right now because this ego states was coined by eric burn he wrote a beautiful book called games people play and we are playing the games out of all these people and parts of us and we really transact with our environment sometimes being a negative free uh, free positively free so the same child switches ego states with a teacher who's very nurturing they will play positively free sir aap jo bhi kahoge we will understand and we'll follow but the same child to another authority at home is not at all following what the father is saying or mother is saying because mother is operating out of negatively critical who is pushing the child's complete self esteem into dumps and no matter what the child does child is not good enough and hence the swing that happens bavna is someone how they are coping and adapting so let's say there are there are you know friend circle or peers at the time when they are getting programmed peers are all watching pornography peers are all doing video gaming peers are all doing all nonsense now this child gets tempted to try it and it works for him it gives him a good feeling and that gives him a coping by lying at home oh i was studying and the parents who are perpetually unavailable to the child the child is enjoying because now he is enjoying the thrill of beating the system at the cost of his own career being sabotaged where he becomes an average child and in fact drop out at a certain level and hence when we take the history i spot my forte is to look for all these incompletions body presence unmindfulness parental disconnections some of these things with handwriting and hence handwriting analysis is my sacred method to see all the layers at once even in the nurturing parent your positively nurturing and your negatively nurturing that no matter what the child is doing you are not punishing the child or telling the child what is wrong or what is right that's negative nurturance which most of the grandparents do so when parents are too busy and when the child is growing up during the suggestibility sexuality time with grandparents or nannies because nannies also want ease okay sit with the phone have fun as long as you sit i will not say anything why because i am getting peace now that's negative nurturance every time the child is crying you are fulfilling the need of the child saying sit with the phone no problem please don't bother me now that's absolutely jacking up the child for no accountability no discipline no commitment and in fact even when the child is bumping into stuff you are blaming things you are blaming the nanny for not taking care of him you are blaming the uh, you know your own parents that they are not taking care of them
So where is that concept of trust and surrender? So you always make a choice not out of any of these eight ego states. What are these eight ego states, please? Rupali, you've studied this twice, so you explain. Just the names. What are these eight ego states which you never will make a choice out of? More or less. Um, so it is... Um, uh, critical parent. Critical parent. Two yeah. types. Positively critical, negatively critical. Positively and negatively critical parent. And then, then comes the PAB child, passive aggressive child. And then comes that um, nurture, negatively nurturing parent. And positively nurturing parent. Or, or a negative adaptive, positive adaptive. Negative adaptive. Negative free, positive free. And positive. These are the ego states. Let's say if at all you have to make a choice, you will switch to blue ego states. What are blue ego states? Write it down. Positive adaptive is a blue ego state. Positive free is a blue ego state. Positively critical is a blue ego state. And a positive nurturing is a blue ego state. So every aspect which is positive is a blue ego state. And everything that is negative. So negative adaptive is a red ego state. Negative rebel or a free child is a red ego state. Negatively critical is a red ego state. And negatively nurturing is a red ego state. So the adult knows how to handle these eight horses. Adult is in the position of controlling all ego states. So, if at all you have to step into one of them and come back, the adult will know when to switch what. That's what transactional analysis is all about. How to transact from the space of being an adult all the time. Because this adult is the one who will not make losses. The adult is the one who will not gamble. The adult is the one who will not take uncalculated risk. The adult is the one who will not. So what will you do for the data for the adult to operate out of? You can become critical, analyze it critically, but come back to the adult and take the choice. So not that you will not become critical. Don't become negatively critical. Study the system. Let's say you are now becoming in a profession. You know, when I said no, path. That becomes the profession. So when you are in a profession, let's say you are opting to become an analyst, uh, a financial analyst. Now, what will you do? You will become critical and you will study with discipline, commitment and accountability a certain number of hours to ga gather the... And you will question like how each one of you are trying to become a therapist to make this your profession. How much of discipline you're sitting? How much of passion you're sitting with? How many questions are you asking just to satisfy that one condition that I'm becoming critical to understand and learn and crack it so that I can apply it. Because the moment if I'm not able to give you an honest answer or a satisfying answer with a doctrine, paradigm or trans logic, you will not let it come down through your filter. And if it will not come down through your filter, even if let's say it's come, it is coming down as a filter, but as a negative experience, you won't be able to apply this knowledge. So you need to also see the whole learning experience as critically to learn because you can then clarify all your doubts, then come down to the critical conscious, to critical subconscious that this is not a pseudoscience and then bring it down to your application and applying it for every client of yours where it then keeps adding the pleasure principle that see my clients are healing. And every testimony that comes like how Ashwara the other day said, Sir, this couple, they were just about to get divorced, but they went on a trip. That's your accolade. Now, that 
as many as you keep doing it, doing it, doing it, that's when you become an intern accountable. Hence, one year of internship in any field. Every MBA also has to do an internship. Every CA has to do an internship. Every person who's whatever, a CA is a professional, isn't it? They are straight jumping from a self-employed to a professional. That's why they are called professional. Hence a doctor. Even internship in a government hospital. Why that internship? Is so that you become disciplined, commitment and accountable. That's how your positive free child will then become accountable, will heal all those aspects that are getting ruffled, will commit to the goals and hence will not take anything for granted and hence will not waste time. Because people who are sitting in the office and doing some rubbish reporting, they will never be able to get success. And the organization also will see you as a burden. And hence, you will not grow in your salaries. Hence, you will not go into your passion. Hence, the organization will lay you off in the first instant because organization can do without you. So what do you become is indispensable in your discipline, commitment and accountability so that you can give back to the organization. If you're able to do that there, you will have a mutual growth plan. That's where what Prachi mentioned, stock options. Because then you will be in a position to avail that stock option. Let's say if you are a person who has a reputation of keep jumping job, do you think this organization will give you stock options? So what is it? Commitment. They will only give these stock options to select employees who have stood by the organization through and through. That's where sky is the limit. And then you become stakeholders, co-creators. And that's how an organization wins. That's what is the face of the organization in the ascension period that you will start seeing that every person will now become an equal stakeholder and will then hit their ceiling, whether through jobs, whether through self-employed, whether through being an android. That's the model that we want to follow. With a complete understanding of this new earth and new principles upon which we are setting this growth principle and prospects. That's where that profession you will enjoy it for the longest period and that will become your purpose. Keep doing it endlessly and the money will start coming in because that's where the money you will unlock. Otherwise, it's the struggle. So what is the struggle telling you? That struggle is telling you this is not what it should be. What else is possible? Keep changing then for good. Looking for passion, what I'm enjoying. I must have jumped at least 20 jobs, okay? So my entire this model is coming from nowhere else, but from my own blueprint of success that I've applied. And if you understand this model, you will not fail. It's near endorsed, approved, certified formula. So applying everything where you constantly making a choice, take a pause. How am I making that choice? So again, in the path, I will tell you how to unlock that parallel reality for yourself, for you to get to this side of understanding that what am I focusing on and what with what intent am I focusing on this reality? If I'm focusing on this reality with fear, with greed, with lust, with jealousy, with negative elements, I'm again operating out of the negative side of being free or negatively adapted or operating out of a void that everybody has everything, I don't have it. Because everybody, whoever has everything is disciplined, commitment, committed and accountable. Does it make sense? Bhavna? Yes. Prachi? Yes, Prashanta. Sir, I didn't understand um, the positive and the negative side of the adaptive child. Positive adaptivity and negative adaptive. 
Now, positively adaptive is someone who adapts because there is a genuine acceptance of what is the flaw within me. I need to change because there is a nurturing feedback which is coming from the environment. Positively nurturing feedback. Negatively adaptive, I already told you that until I get some command from an uh, you know, authority, I will not adapt. Negatively adaptive. I don't have my individuality. I don't have my individual thinking at all. I am a lost child. Until the authority guides me, I will not even be able to think independently. I have shut down my, uh, my rationality so much so that I do not apply my brain. I do not have individual thinking. That's a negatively adaptive. So these are only the people who will get a command from the bosses. They'll go do that much and come back. So that negatively adaptive person could be very high, low self-worth, high physical, who doesn't have individual thought pattern. If you ask them, where do you see yourself five years down the line? Yeah, good question. Where do I see myself five years? Doing the same job. So that's the only known that they have. So these are the people who build ceilings. So when we meet in practicals, when we talk about life script, I will tell you exactly how to raise that ceiling through the three doors of success. But perhaps I'll replay this whole video for a better understanding and then we will begin the class. So what are the three so, doors of success? I will tell you, kuch to level 4 mein hai. Oh, achha, I, I thought maybe you already taught in the first levels. That's no, no, no. No, no. I'm saying that when we come, see, three doors of success is nothing else but earning, spending and holding the money. Because it's, it's money oriented, we understand. So earning is your root chakra. Spending is your sacral chakra. And holding and saving the money is your solar chakra. And that is where the three doors of success will unlock everything else that will flow about in your higher purpose. That's why first is called horizontal growth and then the vertical growth. Because if people focus only on the vertical growth, their base will be very narrow. It will collapse. That's why Maslow also said the two, you know, the basic layers should be your basic of life should be taken care of. Only then you will be able to Take the vertical growth. Because your base should be broader so that it can go tallest. Because if just with your narrow base, you try to build the biggest, that will require a lot of pressure and propulsion from the external environment for you to get there. That is why people who depend on others to give them the support for them to get higher are the hollow people. They don't get there. You need to have your own fuel, your own Ojas, Tejas. Ojas and Tejas only comes with discipline, commitment and accountability. When you do yoga, when you do things, why are you creating that Ojas? Ojas is the aura. Ojas is your bandhas. Ojas is the discipline with which you release all the toxins. You bathe internal, external. You commit to the time. Do things on time as discipline. Because doing things on time, which means is also mindfulness. You're fully present in the body. You don't forget anything. These are the values, no? That our elders or ancestors applied. So all these, when through family constellation, when you're applying it and you're going back to the earliest lineage where they were very successful and that success blueprint you want to activate within you, you eliminate everything what is not needed. The, the imbalances that they create step aside. But what is needed? What were their strengths? I want it in me. I want to activate it. Why not? That's where family constellation comes in. But forgive them for what they are not giving you. They'll not give you approval. Like Aishwarya again yesterday when she was mentioning that why my mother is not uh, you know, giving me the support. Because she's not meant to. The more you keep craving, the more you will not be an adult. The more you question, you are being into this negatively uh, questioning mode. Why will not they? So it's a negative free child. Until you don't give it to me, I will not do things for you. Go. I'll abandon you. It's the reverse abandonment. 
and hence you don't talk to your parents for for years together i have done that with my mother but the moment you accept that mama whatever you you've had and you have you have given me so thank you i'm sorry please forgive me thank you i love you for judging you the day you crack it your journey with your parents also will completely resolve you will start getting inheritance and a property in your name my mother gave me a property last summers the property that she was guarding for years one day she just got inspired she went to bmc and she transferred that license in my name said now you are the owner come and sign your papers and take it from nowhere otherwise the same mother was the mother when i was leaving my house i was wearing a gold chain she told me remove the gold chain and leave i don't know how many people you owe money to if they come i will sell the gold chain and i'll give it the same mother is 360 degree twice shifted in her attitude with me because a part of me accepted that she will always be driven with money as her security because that's where she is coming from and maybe if as a son i have to get her love i have to give her that security with money that's where i started giving money to my parents as a part of my earning the day i fulfilled that one condition and when she gives me money she even charges me interest as of today and i pay her the interest on time that's my transaction and there are no grudges no questions asked when you crack it to that degree now your purpose is over So Rajesh, um, yes, Sarjana. Hi. Um, hi. So is that is that basically uh, just is does that basically boil down to acceptance, like accepting? Hundred percent, and not an acceptance right. with resignation, Sarjana. I have no choice but to accept it. No. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Wisdom. Acceptance with wisdom, because as long as you keep blaming it on your parents, your father, your mother, your brother, your this that. you are still coming from a parental side of a program where they did not give it to me or it's a blame or it's a complaint the right. moment the day because you know complaints and blame also creates karma let's say Sorry. i'm dying and i blame somebody that cheated me but if i die with accountability that i should have read my papers before i signed it i sanctioned that cheating to me you know because of my lack of patience Correct. Correct. So in I'm sorry, I'm not also... putting my camera on, Rajesh. No problem. No problem. I'm at work and I'm on a break, so I'm between. No, no. Two at least you are attending and you are making sense out of whatever that I'm sharing. That's enough. Yeah. Correct. Is this clear, everyone? and that's where the passion path profession whatever it may be because that's the entrepreneur the third option here is the entrepreneur and the only thing that you will understand from here because today though i was not going to take parallel reality as my topic today but i will take parallel reality now to understand that how you can with your focus and healed outlook create parallel realities the way you want it by choosing an option out of an adult ego state because this also i have covered a part of the ego state therapy uh theory partly eric burns part that i'm saying but i will take it in a different way when we go into plug and socket understanding that in an unhealed ego state how somebody else's ego state comes and uh, stays as a foreign entity as a spirit
that's uh, while doing practical bana your camera is showing your other side of the room not you yeah there you are Anna, can you see me and the screen at the same time or no? Yeah. 